The virus recognizes T-cells, a type of blood cell, through the interaction between the viral envelope proteins and membrane proteins on their surface. The first binding occurs through the membrane protein CD4, in yellow, which is followed by binding to another protein, called the co-receptor, in orange, which triggers a dramatic change in the shape of the viral envelope protein. This conformational change allows the envelope protein to insert itself into the T-cell membrane and then, by folding, force the fusion of the viral membrane with the cell membrane. The fusion of the two membranes allows the viral capsid to enter the cell. As the virus approaches the nucleus, a viral enzyme known as reverse transcriptase, RT, in red, gets to work. The RT, using the free nucleotides it finds in the nucleus, begins to transcribe the genome of the virus. This is an RNA molecule, in blue, that RT uses as a template to transcribe and copy into a DNA molecule, in light blue. The RNA that acts as a template once transcribed, is degraded. The result is a complete copy of the viral gene in the form of double-stranded DNA.
The virus has reached the membrane of the nucleus. The viral DNA, bound to the viral protein integrase, in yellow, begins to make its way through the nuclear pore into the nucleus. Inside the nucleus, integrase also binds to cellular DNA, cuts it and inserts viral DNA into it. The viral DNA integrated into the cell's DNA is called a provirus, and it can be activated immediately or remain dormant for days, weeks, or even years. Viral DNA is transcribed into RNA. It contains a sequence that binds to the Rev protein in pink, which interacts with other cellular proteins to carry the viral RNA towards the nuclear pore allowing it to exit the nucleus. On the cell membrane, viral proteins, including the envelope protein and thousands of copies of the gag protein, accumulate and capture the viral genome. Meanwhile, the gag protein also forms a tightly packed lattice that forces the membrane to protrude. As the viral bud grows, numerous other proteins are recruited. When the viral bud is formed, proteins appear that, by constricting the cellular membrane at the neck of the bud, cause fission of the membrane and release of the bud itself. <laughs> 